All right, this is lesson one of the surface area unit. Um, today we're looking at nets and views of 3D objects. And we're gonna start with naming of common 3D shapes. Um, so there's kind of two main categories of 3D shapes. Uh, one is prisms. Um, prisms have the same shape on the bottom and the top or the front and the back. So um, for example here, a rectangular prism would have the same rectangle on the top as it does on the bottom. And then, so this is a rectangular prism. Um, this is a circular prism because it has a circle on the bottom and the top. Um, this is commonly known as a cylinder though. And this one is a triangular prism. It's flipped on its side, but it has, you can see the same triangle on the front and back. So that's a triangular prism. So basically it's named by what shape you have on either side. We'll be working with these most of the time throughout this unit. Um, but another shape that is good to know the name of is a pyramid. Now pyramids just come to a point instead of having the same shape on either side. So this one is a square pyramid or rectangular pyramid, depending on if that's a square on the bottom. Pyramid. And this one is a circular pyramid. You could also call that by its common name, which is the cone. And then this one is a triangular pyramid. They're named just based on whatever shape is on the base of the pyramid. So that one would be a square, circle, and triangle. Okay, so again, most of the time we're gonna be working with prisms, but it's also good to know um, what pyramids are as well. Okay, so um, to visualize these shapes, one really useful thing to be able to do is sort of unfold this shape. So imagine having like a cardboard box and then taking that box apart and folding it flat on the ground. I'm gonna show you some animations of what that might look like. Um, and then we're gonna draw our own net. So this is called um, creating a net. Um, and see, I have here some prisms that I'm gonna unfold. So I'm gonna start with uh, this one, which is a cube, but it's also a rectangular prism. And I'm gonna unfold it so we can see what it's made of. So imagine that's a box and we unfold it. And we can see that it's made of one, two, three, four, five, six squares two squares for the top and bottom, two for the sides, and then one for the, two for the front and back. So the advantage of a net is it makes it really easy for us to visualize all sides of the shape in 2D, because we are working on 2D paper when we're trying to study these 3D shapes. Okay, let's go look at the triangular prism here. Right, so we have a triangle in the front and the back, and then three rectangles. Let's see what happens to this when I unfold it. It looks like this. So I've got two triangles, one on the front, one on the back, and then three rectangles. Sort of a tradition, looks like almost like a little like a tent. You might go camping with a really simple looking tent, an A-frame tent. Okay, and then here, this one is a hexagonal prism, just to show you what that looks like. It folds out into two hexagons and then six rectangles all around the sides. Okay, so again, really useful to be able to do this, uh, create these nets so you can see what each shape is made of on 2D paper. Okay, so let's practice doing this here. We have a rectangular prism. Um, also good to be able to draw a rectangular prism, so let's practice that too. So when you wanna draw a 3D prism, what, you, what I like to start with is just by drawing the same shape, but like, um, just like offset from each other. So start by drawing two rectangles, one in front and then one like just off to the side and behind. And then all you wanna do is connect each corner to the matching corner and you've got your prism. You can choose to make it like um, open like this or you can erase the lines that overlap and then it'll be like, uh, closed box. So if you want to make it like that, then you would want to do like this. Yeah. Um, okay. So what would happen when I unfold this 
is I would get something like this. There's actually more than one way to often draw these nets, but that's one way you could draw it. Okay, the net of a cylinder. This one's a little trickier. So if you want to draw a cylinder, you just draw two circles that are sort of flattened, one on top of the other, and then you can uh, draw two lines straight down. That's not very good, but if you want to draw one that's not see-through, just draw only the bottom half of the bottom circle there, like that, okay? When you unfold a cylinder, I like to think of like a soup can. Okay, imagine cutting the top off of the soup can. It's going to be a circle and then cut the bottom off, it's going to be a circle. And then imagine the soup can, you unravel the label and it will be like this rectangle essentially in between the two circles. So that's what the net of a cylinder looks like. I forgot to fill in this blank here as a net. Okay, a triangular prism. Again, we want to draw, if we want to draw it, we draw two triangles offset from each other and then just connect the corners. Okay, we can draw it like that. And then what we have here, remember from our animation, right? We had three rectangles and two triangles. So we have two triangles and then three rectangles in between. Um, that's really gonna come in handy when we are doing our surface area calculations because we'll be able to visualize how many sides we have and what shape they are. Okay. Um, another way to visualize a 3D shape is to draw the different viewpoints of the shape. So when we're looking at a shape, we see the front view, the side view, and then the top down view. You can imagine you're flying over top of the shape and you're looking directly down at it. Oops, I wrote view instead of top. Um, so if I'm looking just at the front of this shape, I would simply see, I'm going to see what color shows up here. This, this, this would be three straight across. And then it would be these two sticking up from behind. I wouldn't see any depth, so it would just look like, like that. And then from the side, we would see these two and then another two squares on top. So it looks something like this. Again, you don't see any depth. And this would help you, drawing these views would help you calculate the surface area as well. Okay, and then from top down, we would just simply see, oops, we wouldn't see any depth again. So I wouldn't see that this square is like higher than the other squares. I would just see a rectangle with six squares. One, two, three four, five, six. So that's um, another way to visualize 3D shapes, especially when they have different depths to them and they're not like a traditional um, prism or pyramid. All right, so that is the end of the lesson.